decorticate posturing helps us assess the patient's neurologic status. And when we talk about posturing, that usually means that some significant injury has occurred to the patient's midbrain, which controls the, the motor response or motor movement. And so decorticate posturing means that there's some involuntary posturing now going on in the patient's body that we can assess. And decorticate, remember, can, stay, can stand for the extremities to the core. And so the lower extremities in decorticate and decerebrate posturing are pretty similar, where in decorticate, the arm movement is different. So the arms will go to the core, the elbows and the wrists are flexed, and it's, everything goes to the patient's core. The legs are extended and the toes are pointed. And that is usually a sign of some pretty advanced injury to the patient's neurologic system. That can be due to traumatic brain injury, maybe a stroke, maybe a brain hemorrhage, tumors, abscesses, those kind of things. Also check out my other video where I discuss decerebrate posturing that is a little bit worse than decorticate. Thanks for watching.